This is the Music History Today podcast for September 26th. On today's show, a famous musical premieres, a musical film premieres, and the Empress of the Blues passes away. First up, though, on this date in 1892, John Philip Sousa's band debuted in public. In 1908, the Saturday Evening Post published the first record player advertisement. It was for the Edison Phonograph. In 1955, entertainer Debbie Reynolds married singer Eddie Fisher. In 1957, the Monotones recorded the song The Book of Love. In 1969, promoter Bill Graham opened his ballroom, the Fillmore West, in San Francisco. In 1975, the musical film The Rocky Horror Picture Show premiered. In 1976, Marvin Gaye recorded his live album at London's Palladium Theater. In 1984, a court cleared Paul McCartney of being someone's father in a paternity suit against him. In 1986, Metallica played their last show with Cliff Burton before he tragically passed away in a bus accident. And also on that same day, Run DMC became the first hip-hop group to hit the top 10 on the Billboard Albums chart when their album Raising Hell charted. In 1990, the TV musical show Cop Rock premiered. It lasted exactly 11 episodes. In 1992, Gloria Estefan held a benefit concert for Hurricane Andrew victims. In 1998, MTV Russia premiered and Prince was injured on stage during his concert in Atlantic City. In 1999, singer and actress Vanessa L. Williams married basketball player Rick Fox. Yes, she is sometimes called Vanessa Williams, but technically Vanessa Williams is taken in the acting realm. Therefore, she has to legally call herself Vanessa L. Williams. There you go. In 2005, country music singer Billy Joe Shaver married his wife, Wanda Lynn Kennedy. In 2006, the movie The Departed, co-starring Mark Wahlberg, premiered in movie theaters. In 2007, Phil Spector had his first murder trial and with a hung jury. He was retried in 2008 for the murder of actress Lana Clarkson and was eventually found guilty. In 2008, singer Clay Aiken announced that he was gay. And in 2015, rapper Fetty Wap was injured in a motorcycle accident. In classical music in 1835, Gaetano Donizetti premiered the opera Lucia di Lammermoor. In 1898, the operetta The Fortune Teller premiered. And in 1967, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his second violin concert. In theater in 1904, the Broadway show Music Master premiered. In 1927, the famous Broadway theater, the St. James Theater, opened for business. And in 1957, the famous musical West Side Story premiered at the Winter Garden Festival on Broadway. We will talk more about the St. James Theater and West Side Story on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel as we speak. In award ceremonies that were held on September 26th in 1965, the Beatles were given the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II. In 1984, Paul Anka received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and in 2021, Moulin Rouge won Best Musical at the Tony Awards. Albums that were released in Great Britain on September 26 include in 2004 when Green Day released American Idiot. Meanwhile, in America, in 1969, the Beatles released Abbey Road. Billy Preston released That's the Way God Planned It. In 1972, the Jay Giles Band released Live Full House. In 1974, Jim Croce released Photographs and Memories, His Greatest Hits, and John Lennon released Walls and Bridges. In 1977, Ringo Starr released Ringo IV. In 1983, Motley Crue released Shout at the Devil. In 1986, Magnum released Vigilante. In 1988, Oingo Boingo released Boingo Alive. In 1989, the Thompson Twins released Big Trash. In 1990, Cool and the Gang did a twofer. They released The Ballad Collection and The Dance Collection. In 1994, Massive Attack released Protection. In 1995, Prince released The Gold Experience. The Velvet Underground released Peel Slowly and See. And ACDC released Ball Breaker. 
in 2000. 98 Degrees released Revelation, but only at Walmart stores. That was when they were doing exclusives back then. Styx released Arch Allies live at Riverport. Matthew Sweet released Time Capsule Best of 9200. Soul Asylum released Black Gold, the best of Soul Asylum. Mark Knopfler released Sailing to Philadelphia. John Hyatt released Crossing Muddy Waters. And Good Charlotte released their self-titled album. In 2006, Janet Jackson released 20 Years Old. And Sarah McLaughlin released Mirrorball, the complete concert. In 2011, The Smiths released The Smiths Complete and Pink Floyd released Discovery. And in 2014, Tom York of Radiohead released his solo album, Tomorrow's Modern Boxes. Singles that were released in the UK on September 26th include in 1994 when The Rolling Stones released You Got Me Rocking. Meanwhile, in America, in 1962, The Temptations released Paradise. In 1964, The Rolling Stones released Time Is On My Side. In 1966, Aretha Franklin released Cry Like a Baby. In 1967, The Temptations released It's You That I Need, and Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Big Boss Man and You Don't Know Me. In 1969, The Beatles released Here Comes the Sun. Also on that same day, Bread released It Don't Matter to Me, The Birds released Wasn't Born to Follow, and The Hollies released He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother. In 1977, Billy Joel released Just the Way You Are. In 1984, Prince and the Revolution released Purple Rain. In 1986, Boston released Amanda. In 2002, Jennifer Lopez released Jenny from the Block. In 2008, Britney Spears released Womanizer. And in 2017, Rich the Kid and Kendrick Lamar released New Freezer. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 26th include composer extraordinaire Mr. George Gershwin. Also, singer, actress, and activist, the late great Olivia Newton-John. Brian Ferry of Roxy Music. Country music singer Lynn Anderson. Singer Christina Milian, singer James Blake, George Chambers of the Chambers Brothers, Sean Stockman of Boys to Men, Tracy Thorne of Everything But the Girl, Cindy Heron of En Vogue, country music singer Carlene Carter, Craig Chakiko of Jefferson Airplane, Cesar Rosas of Los Lobos, Stuart Tosh of the Alan Parsons Project, Joe Bauer of the Young Bloods, singer Julie London, session bassist Tony Sales, Country music singer Marty Robbins, Tyrone Porter of the Doobie Brothers, singer Darby Crash of the Germs, Keisha Buchanan of the Sugar Cubes, James Woolley of Nine, band leader extraordinaire Mr. Ted Weems, Shannon Hoon, the late great Shannon Hoon of Blind Melon, singer Stefan Benz, rapper Kiluminati, rapper Russ Demon, rapper ARAB, Singer Trey Schaefer, Nate Parker of the Tide, and singer Emily Middlemas. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 26th include composer Francois Bainville, who passed away in 1788 at the age of 63. Composer William Billings passed away in 1800 at the age of 53. Composer Pavel Vernicki passed away in 1808 at the age of 51. Pianist Cipriani Potter passed away in 1871 at the age of 78. The Empress of the Blues, Miss Bessie Smith, passed away in a car accident in 1937 at the age of 43. Composer Bella Bartok passed away in 1945 at the age of 64. Composer Seymour Schifrin passed away in 1979 at the age of 53. 
Singer and actor Tino Rossi passed away in 1983 at the age of 76. Jazz drummer Shelly Mann passed away from heart issues in 1984 at the age of 64. Composer Arnold Shaw passed away in 1989 at the age of 80. Singer Billy Vaughn passed away from cancer in 1991 at the age of 72. Singer Betty Carter passed away in 1998 at the age of 68. Jazz drummer Nick Fatul passed away in 2000 at the age of 85. Songwriter Carl Sigmund passed away in 2000 at the age of 91. Singer-songwriter Robert Palmer of The Power Station and also his solo career passed away from heart issues in 2003 at the age of 54. Guitarist Sean Lane passed away from lung illness in 2003 at the age of 40. Violinist Dorothy Schwartz passed away in 2007 at the age of 94. Musician Mark Mullen passed away in 2008 at the age of 66. Gospel music singer Jesse Dixon passed away in 2011 at the age of 73. Rapper L.A. Capone was shot and killed in 2013 at the age of 17. Mark Loomis of the band Chocolate Watch Band passed away in 2014 at somewhere around the age of 70 because no one has confirmed the year of birth as of yet. Composer Toshia Yukigawa passed away in 2015 at the age of 85. Composer and also professor at the Barcelona Conservatory from 1959 to 1987, Manuel Ultra passed away in 2015 at the age of 93. Composer Martin Wesley Smith passed away in 2019 at the age of 74. Bassist Alan Lancaster of Status Quo passed away from multiple sclerosis in 2021 at the age of 72. And singer Commander Cody of Commander Cody and the Lost Planet Airmen passed away in 2021 at the age of 77. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 27th, when in 1912, the first blues song, W.C. Handy's Memphis Blues, was released. 